Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the left front orifice holder assembly in your gas range, be sure to unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply. Shut off the gas supply as well. Pull the range away from the wall so you can access the rear of the appliance. Open the oven door and use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the control panel's lower cover. Remove the cover. Pull off the five control knobs. Next, unthread the two screws securing the control panel to the frame. Detach the control panel and support it to avoid straining the wires. Now unthread the front bracket screws securing the main top. Unthread the two screws underneath the rear corners of the top. Lift off both grates. Remove all five burner caps and burner bases. You can now unthread the screws securing the orifice holders to the main top. With the screws unthreaded, you can lift off the top. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the two screws securing the lower rear access panel. Lift the panel up and out to remove. Unthread the three screws to release the left side stop bracket. Repeat to detach the right side bracket. Now lift the upper rear access panel up to remove. Disconnect the appropriate spark electrode wire from the spark module. Use a 9 16th inch wrench to unthread the nut securing the main gas supply tube to the burner valve. Use a half-inch wrench to unthread the nut to release the simmer gas supply tube from the valve. You can now unthread the mounting screw to fully release the old orifice holder assembly. Install the new orifice holder assembly by aligning the holder on the top panel and threading the mounting screw to hold it in place. Connect the main and simmer gas supply tubes to the valve, then thread the nuts to secure. Be careful not to damage the tubes by over-tightening the nuts. Connect the wire to the appropriate terminal on the spark module. 
Reinstall the upper rear access panel by hooking it on the tabs. Realign the two stop brackets and thread the screws to hold them in place. Reinstall the lower access panel by inserting the tabs in the slots first. Lower the panel and secure it with the screws. Reposition the main top on the frame so the spark electrodes protrude through the holes in the top. Confirm that the orifice holders are aligned. Then thread and tighten the screws to secure the holders to the main top. Replace each burner base in its proper location by aligning the notch in the base with the spark electrode. Replace the burner caps. Reposition the grates. Thread the two rear screws to secure the main top. Replace the front bracket screws. Realign the control panel on the front brackets. Secure it with the screws. Replace the lower cover. Then thread the screws to secure. Realign the control knobs on the valve stems and push them into place. Note that the power burner control knob should be placed on the second stem from the left. Turn the gas supply back on. Plug the power cord back in or restore the power supply and the gas range should be ready for use.